This feature looks innocent enough, but it's not. The technical term for lines and polygons with this many coordinates is a vertex monster. Not only is it a performance burden, but some mapping systems have a limit on the number of vertices or coordinates allowed per feature. So what are you supposed to do if you come across a vertex monster? <laughs> FME offers two transformers to help you get around this. The chopper breaks up your features while keeping all the detail. By sending a line or polygon through the chopper, you create an output feature with the same set of vertices as the input feature, except the feature is now represented in many pieces. Just specify to break the input features according to vertex count, set the maximum number of vertices, and run your translation. Here I was able to chop the vertex monster into five features containing no more than 190,000 vertices each. This method is useful if you need to preserve all the original detail, and you don't mind if your original object is represented as a few objects. The second method is the generalizer. The generalizer reduces the density of your line or polygon by removing coordinates. You can throw away as many vertices as you need in order to make your feature fit the required limit. There are five generalizing algorithms to choose from based on your requirements. The transformer parameters also let you specify whether you want to preserve the topology. Choosing no means each feature is generalized individually without taking into account neighboring features. Any shared boundaries between features won't necessarily be maintained. Choosing yes means coverage topology will be maintained. By sending the vertex monster through the generalizer with a 100 meter tolerance, I was able to reduce the number of vertices to 126,000. This method is useful if you need a single object, but don't mind that it contains less detail than the original. The Grid Chopper is a custom transformer available for free in the FME store. This is useful for large areas with only a few holes. It breaks the feature into simpler parts using a grid approach, giving you a more regular pattern of chopped areas. So that's a brief overview of three ways you can use FME to work around feature size limitations. Take that, Vertex Monster!